Right now, your trees may be getting a needed break from a destructive invasive species, the spongy moth. Researchers are seeing large numbers of the moth's caterpillars dying off. J.T. Siskowski has you covered on how Wisconsin bugs are crawling into the spotlight. These pictures were taken just last week in Iowa County. They show dead and dying spongy moth caterpillars hanging off of trees. Researchers say that the wet spring that we've had here in Wisconsin has made conditions right for a fungus that kills this invasive species. The moth, when it is a caterpillar, will feed on the leaves of trees here in the state, and in large enough numbers it'll even do damage to the trees. Now this is this die off is just one in a litany of discoveries made in the Wisconsin bug world as of late, one of which includes this scorpion. UW Madison entomologist PJ Leash doesn't get to research scorpions that often. I think that's my third case of a scorpion. But every once in a while, one falls into his lap. The gentleman here in the Madison area that was watching TV in his basement happened to look down, see something moving, and it was a live scorpion. Setting this scorpion apart, how little is known about its origins. We don't quite know where it came from or how long it had been present. But Leash says not to worry. It had most likely been introduced through some item via shipping or accidentally hitchhiked uh, while traveling. The scorpion is not the only creepy crawly drawing his attention. The periodical cicadas have just been an amazing thing to be able to see and experience myself. And the once every 17 year emergence has kept Leash busy. Yeah, these ones are are pretty lethargic and quiet. He estimates he's done around 90 media interviews this year so far, mostly on cicadas. And that's not all. Japanese beetles have popped out earlier than expected. These invasive beetles like to feast on Wisconsin gardens and were spotted in the Cross Plains area in early June. Now that's unusually early. He expects most of the beetles will emerge later this month or in early July. And in his little spare time, he's been watching the spongy moth population. It is it is stressful with the caseload this time of the year, but also really exciting because I know that every day is going to be a little bit different at the diagnostic lab. In Madison, J.T. Saskowski, 27 News.